Are we facing a lost decade? The World Bank, in its latest report, is talking about this risk, and it's an important one. It's an important one fundamentally because what we're seeing right now is a trimming of estimates of recovery for 2021, which were excessively optimistic in the first place. We saw last year that the expectations from uh, international bodies and investment banks about massive fiscal multiplication suppliers of the uh, increase in debt and public spending of 2020 were too aggressive. And what we're seeing right now is how all of those bodies and the consensus need to trim those expectations for 2021. However, it is important to note that regardless of the issue of the rollout of vaccines and the improvement in the pandemic, the long-term side effects of the crisis will be seen for many years to come. The massive increase in debt, massive increase in government spending will generate lower potential growth, very likely. More importantly, the recovery in jobs is going to be and is proving to be a lot more challenging than what many estimated. Fundamentally, because the destruction of the business fabric that has occurred in the services sector is very difficult to recover quickly. More importantly, what we need to understand as well is that we cannot expect those absolutely science fiction figures of investment growth for 2021 and 2022 that we saw at the end of last year only for one simple reason. The vast majority of companies will only be able to uh, address 2021 and 2022 to maintain the strength of their balance sheet as much as possible. Therefore, large increases of investment, massive consumption increases don't happen when the jobs growth is so weak and when there are so many furloughed jobs still in the economy. And the long-term effects of the 2020 crisis will be seen we have to be extremely careful of repeating again the same mistakes of 2020 and go again into a bloated government spending and debt situation.